بسمیٹ environment whereby different universities around the world especially pakistan kenya uh, and mexico which are the pilot countries they have trained hundreds of certified professors in edu- in, in uh, integrity education and secondly they are now creating thousands uh, of integrity ambassadors integrity students ethics ambassadors which will go into the corporate world and create a more ethical corporate environment now let us see what are the other causes of unethical behavior and then we'll be moving forward and i will also be sharing with you some very interesting case studies also developed courtesy of the unodc and especially the unodc pakistan which dynamic team has been working uh, with a group of practitioners and also advisors and academics to bring all of these different features to all of you so ladies and gentlemen when we talk about these contributing factors then looking at them then another one is long working hours that intervene with family life now this is very important because everyone has a family and yes one can sacrifice one can have bursts of long hours long days or even long weeks but if it is over years then it becomes very daunting and also can adversely affect the mindset the attitude the value systems the ethical considerations of the employee and it can create a, a dissonance it can create uh, a waverish context within the individual and that person will then start compromising the next one is undue pressure by companies to meet revenue targets to meet sale targets to meet production targets and to generate higher profitability which leads to cutthroat competition and in that cut for competition people tend to compromise and based upon that compromise there is unethical behavior and that should not be done so therefore competition is good but con- but cut throat competition is considered to be bad and have its own adverse effects another thing that we can see ladies and gentlemen is that the lack of recognition of efforts now this can lead to a lot of blood burning can lead to depression can lead to stress and also this very negative feeling that i am not being recognized and recognition does not take any resource recognition is just a simple word thank you for your efforts is a simple pat on someone's back you've done a great job is about having an employee of the month just putting up a picture on a frame and glamorizing that individual that this individual has done the best work or like mcdonald's does that the family or the parents of this individual have been able to groom a wonderful uh, human being uh, that also is something great and besides that it could just be a, a small email uh, an email of gratitude it could be a whatsapp message it could be an emoticon it could be a small uh, it could just be a simple card uh, again expressing uh, the uh, efforts of that particular employee it could be a birthday party it could be a trip recognizing it could be a special training recognizing the employee or employees it could be a group photograph showing the outstanding star a team of the organization so there are so many ways of recognizing it just could be a simple hello in the morning in the office of a subordinate and saying that hello uh, and inquiring about the different issues of that employee it is recognition so uh, ladies and gentlemen recognition is not monetary awards recognition is not having a new car recognition is not getting uh, an interest free loan yeah that is also a form of recognition and bigger forms of recognition you can recognize your employees on a daily basis and create a healthy and positive environment within the organization and then something which tends to negate uh, the whole uh, environment or conducive environment is favoritism is bias is nepotism is undue favor is 
surpassing rules and regulations is being discriminatory in the implementation of rules and regulations so all of this uh, is in the ambit of favoritism by managers which is very debilitating and can deprive the organization of a good workforce and a good working environment when we are talking about the factors contributing to unethical behavior then lack of recognition of honesty so those people who are honest and we don't recognize them in the right way that leads to unethical behavior eventually it could be personal circumstances also where an employee is facing something genuinely in his or her own home and the organization is not trying to help that individual it could be home worries it could be normalization of unethical behavior by management and other employees that everyone is doing corruption everyone is incurring corruption people are not uh, trying to make honesty an important value of the organization and if someone is being honest that person is being ridiculed as someone who has no understanding of worldly or material affairs and things like that so we must understand that all of these factors are contributing towards unethical behavior in one way or the other in a small way or a big way so therefore we have to get together as individuals as human beings as ashraf al makhlukat as people who want a better world who want a better society who want better organizations better institutions better work conditions conducive environments and eliminate all of these factors and ensure foremost that if we can't change the world we can't change the institution we can't change society at least we can change ourselves and become better employees and better leaders and better managers by not doing those things which lead to an unethical behavior thank you so much